Hello everyone, welcome to Crafting with Barbara. So my tutorial today is going to be making some fake cereal. So I learned this little trick off a couple people on YouTube. I seen a couple on TikTok, but I'm just gonna go with it and let's see what happens. So um, I got from Dollar Tree this little glass bowl. It's pretty thick, that's why I like it. I got a spoon and I got the uh, all white candles. Um, I melted them down already. I have one over here and one over here. And then I got some cereal. Um, I will not be making it into a candle. And I will not be lighting it up either. It's just for decor, you already know. So, I've never done this. So, I'm kind of nervous. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of nervous. But I'm going to go with it. So I'm just pouring in my candle into the bowl here. Let me grab my other one over here. And I'm just gonna pour that one in. Okay, so now I want to take my spoon and I want to put a little that I want to put it in for it can like dry in there. So I need to put a little dab of glue on it. I just want to make sure Trying to hold the spoon here a couple minutes. Okay, good. Okay, so you as you see the spoon's there and it's um see-through. So we're gonna give it some time to harden up and then we're going to put our Cheerios our um sorry our fruit loops um on it so for now we're just gonna let it get a little hard and we're gonna come back so i'll be back in a second okay so i decided to go ahead while it was still wet and um add a little bit of my um fruit loops I thought about it and I was like, you know, I think it might be cool if I add some first and let it just dry in there. Get some more pink in here. I'm thinking by doing this, they will dry in. So hopefully It will turn out pretty cool. I think it will.
So I'm trying to get like all the little gaps that I can get. And then if it doesn't turn out as planned, then we'll just play around with it. You know I'm very close to the camera, I'm sorry. I know you guys don't want to see my big head. You, you want to see more of the mess that I'm making. Okay, so I'm going to leave it just like it is. You know, you guys can see a little bit. I can't tilt it because it's not dry yet and I don't want to spill it. So we're going to leave it just like it is. But I know you guys can kind of get an idea here. I'll try to do this. There we go. And see, so once it dries, it should look a little better, hopefully. Cross your fingers and we'll come back to it. I'm going to give it a little while. And then I'm going to come back to it and hopefully it's looking the way I want it to look. So we'll be back. Okay, guys. So it's nice and dry. It's still warm in the bottom. It feels so nice. But look, guys. So I have a little gap right here that I do not like. And maybe one right there. Nothing big. But it's perfect. Look. I'm going to take my sticker off of the bow. So, I was thinking, I still have a little bit here. Don't mind my, my, my mess going on over there. Just got a new hubby. Just got me a new blender. And then, um, of course, our doggy's food. So what I was going to do was, I was going to pour a little bit just here and there, right? Then I'm going to go back with the cereal again, I'm going to add more cereal. Now. I know a lot of you are going to come for me. Why are you using real cereal? You're not supposed to do that. You're going to get bugs. But guess what? Once this is fully dry and I'm comfortable with the way it looks, I'm going to seal it. I'm not going to just leave it like that. I'm going to seal it. I'm going to spill some out. So, you see how I'm pushing them in? Okay, so once it's fully dry, like where it's deeply dry, I spilled some out of it right there. But it's okay because it looks like the milk spilled out. So we're good. So once it's like fully, fully, fully dry, I'm going to seal it. So you're not going to be able, bugs will not be able to get to it and all that. Like, I know a lot of you are going to start yelling at me for using real cereal but I have seen many of people 
doing it and everything seems fine. I also have another friend that crafts as well. She doesn't have a YouTube though. And she also made it and um, she used real cereal as well. She have had no problems yet because I was kind of scared to do it. But I went for it. And I think it's perfect. It really looks like a bowl of cereal. Like I said, I spilled some out right here. But it's okay because it just looks like milk spilled a little bit. You know, when kids uh, make a bowl of cereal, it spills everywhere. So remember, I use Dollar Tree cereal. I really wanted to try the Fruit Loops. You know, that Dollar Tree has so many different ones. They have Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I have a, a couple different ones, Cheerios. So I made. So I'm going to be honest. I'm going to probably do another um, tutorial on the fake cereal because I wanted to try two different ways, but I'm not going to do it on the same video. I wanted to try one with the candles, um, wax, and to, just to see how it comes out. So my next one, I want to do the same thing, but I want to do it with lightweight spackle instead of using the candle to see how that turns out and then I'll be sealing that one as well so you don't have to worry about that oh my god you're using real cereal we'll be good so um I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as you see it was fun easy and oh and a quick tip I didn't want to wait all day for it to dry so I just took the whole thing like this and I set it inside my fridge for five minutes five minutes and look so if you want to go a little quicker you can do that too as well so we're done here um i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial it was fun and easy like i said i will be doing another tutorial i'm not sure if it'll be my next one but i will also be doing another one um but that one i will do a different cereal i'm not going to do the same cereal that way we can do something different um, I want to make another one, but like I said, I want to do it with lightweight spackle, so we'll be doing that one next. So, I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.